Well, look, I'll say a couple of things. One, we're incredibly excited about today's announcement. You know, we're uh, looking forward to uh, establishing co-equal headquarters uh, in the Long Island City neighborhood in Queens, uh, across the river from Manhattan and New York, as well as uh, in Arlington, across the river from Washington, D.C. 25,000 uh, jobs a minimum for each location, averaging more than $150,000 per year in salary. Uh, these are high-paying jobs, the kinds of jobs that I think communities across the country uh, uh, looked for, hoped for, and, are, and in this case are glad to have. Look, incentives are part of uh, the process in, in every city, major city across the country when they're trying to lure investment. I, you know, I think that what you'll see is uh, if you look at uh, some of the proposals that were put forward by cities that released them publicly, uh, it, you can find out very quickly that incentives did not drive this process for us. Our number one criterion was the availability of existing talent and the, avail, you know, the, the possibility of recruiting and luring new talent to come. Uh, New York and Washington are great cities. They're attractive places to be for people when we want to recruit talent and we're competing with other companies for that talent, especially in the tech space. Uh, and they also have existing pools of talent. That why, that's why we ended up there. The incentives that we're getting are performance-based. We don't create the jobs, we don't get the incentives in both locations. Moreover, uh, if you look at the revenue streams that will be created because of Amazon's investment, it multiples uh, in the billions of dollars in each case, well beyond the incentives we're getting. So uh, these, uh, relative to uh, what drove this process, incentives were uh, a pretty small part of, of what we were after. But they were a part, Jay, right? I mean, that's the fact of the matter. I mean, if every single country, if every single city across the country who was on that preliminary list said, you know what, Amazon, you're rich enough, we're not going to give you any incentives, you should want to come to our city, you should want to hire our residents, it, it might have been a different story. Well, look, obviously, uh, uh, we were excited to uh, offer the possibility of creating 50,000 high-paying jobs and investing more than $5 billion, and re cities responded to that. They do that all the time uh, with other countries. All of the incentives that we're talking about are widely available. There are no special Amazon incentives here. And again, they're relatively uh, modest compared to uh, you know, other offers that were out there, and also compared to the revenue that we'll be producing for these cities. Look, I'm in Seattle right now. We have 45,000 employees here. We have openings for an additional 8,000 employees here. In addition to all those jobs that we've created here, another 53,000 indirect jobs have been created here. Another 2,000 small businesses have been created in the neighborhoods where we've grown up here in Seattle. Uh, and, and the revenues that have come to uh, the city and the state because of Amazon's presence here have been enormous. So I think the, the benefits that you see uh, uh, are, are well worth the investment, which is why cities, you know, these are, these are places with hard-headed leaders, and, and they, they make these uh, uh, offers because they believe they're the right thing for their cities and their communities, and, and we strongly agree with them in that case.